It's interesting to learn historical facts. Yes, knowing your history is important. Not just the major names and key dates, but also the minor facts that help us better comprehend a historical figure or the era in which they lived. But are all of those facts true? What's the backstory behind them? Let's see what we learn. But before that, hello there. This is Ed Chat, your one-stop, know-it-all, to everything wise and innovative. So, what are we waiting for? Without further ado, here are the eight historical facts you'll wish were not true. Number one, someone tried and failed to save Abraham Lincoln, and that man's life only got darker from there. You've probably seen the 1860s painting, The Assassination of President Lincoln. But who is that couple in the private box with the hapless president and his wife? Major Henry Rathbone is the man on the far left, dashing into action. The president and first lady explicitly requested that he and his fiancée, Clara Harris, join them at the theater. Rathbone tried to take Booth to the ground after he fired the shot, but Booth freed himself by slicing Rathbone in the arm with a knife. Rathbone was allegedly disturbed by the memory and guilt of that night, and he felt responsible for letting Booth get away. Over the next few years, he suffered from some health problems, from stomach aches to heart palpitations, and his mental condition deteriorated as well. Finally, on April 23, 1883, 18 years after Lincoln's assassination, he attacked and killed Clara, his wife, and attempted suicide. He'd spend the rest of his life in a mental hospital. Number 2. In 1494, Europe experienced the closest thing to a real-life zombie outbreak. The Renaissance period in Italy had a major, though mostly unknown, dark side. Sailors returning from the New World carried with them a large outbreak of syphilis, which sickened the entire French army. The troops then spread what became known as the Great Pox across Europe. Because there were no antibiotics available at the time, the disease spread unchecked and the consequences were severe. The skin on the victims' faces would rot away as a result of the disease's terrible ulcers. In some cases, the affected people's noses, lips, or other body parts completely fell off, and many patients died due to this disease. While there was much to love about the European Renaissance, the concurrent syphilis outbreak was essentially the real-world version of the zombie apocalypse. It was a huge deal. Number 3. 19th century New Englanders dug up a young woman's body because they thought she was a vampire. You've probably heard of the Salem Witch Trials, but have you heard of the Rhode Island Accused Vampire? In the late 1800s, a wave of tuberculosis, then known as consumption, swept over Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Vermont, leaving residents mystified. People assumed their victims were vampires because they looked sunken, pallid, and drained. As a result, a vampire hunt was quickly launched. When family members in Exeter, Rhode Island, began dying of consumption one after the other, the other residents concluded that someone in the family was feeding on the others. Even after Mary Brown's mother and her two children died, the townspeople decided to exhume the bodies, believing one of them was undead. Mercy, Brown's 19-year-old daughter, had died much more recently than the rest of her family. Therefore, her body was in much better condition. Her heart even had some decaying blood in it, which was the definitive evidence of vampirism back then. So, they destroyed her heart and liver and mingled the ashes with water to prevent her from striking again. They then gave another sick town member the concoction as a cure, but unsurprisingly, it did not work. Number 4. Thomas Edison created a seriously creepy baby doll. Despite all of his amazing innovations, Thomas Edison did suffer a major setback when he tried to make the first ever talking doll. Edison's invention of the tinfoil phonograph in 1877 was a tremendous breakthrough in sound recording technology, and the unlimited potential for this technology was not lost on him. He was able to make a collection of baby dolls in 1890 thanks to the development of the wax cylinder. The dolls were unlike anything the world of toys had ever seen or heard before, with wooden bodies, porcelain heads, and little phonographs in their chests. The phonographs played back recordings of young women reciting nursery rhymes like Hickory Dickory Dock and Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. And if there were ever dolls deserving of their own horror film, it was them. The old garbled technology, loud voices, and scary faces of the dolls combined to give us nightmare fuel today. But that isn't the only reason the dolls were a fiasco. Instead, their demise was due to a variety of factors. The parts were easily lost, the sound didn't last very long, it was difficult to interpret, and the little phonographs were easily broken. Finally, the dolls were simply too pricey. Hold on! Please click the subscribe button to get a notification about more updates. Also, don't forget to leave a like. Which of these historical facts surprised you? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 5. Researchers once turned a cat into a telephone. A live cat! You've gotta be kidding me, we know you're thinking. But unfortunately, we are not. 
A team of Princeton University scientists wanted to test how the auditory nerve received sound in 1929. Their test subject was a cat that was heavily drugged but still alive. Ernest Weaver and Charles Bray removed a piece of its brain and connected one end of a telephone cable to its auditory nerve and the other end to a receiver. Weaver could hear Bray in a soundproof room through the receiver when he murmured something into the cat's ears. Though this seems like a sick experiment, it actually did have some beneficial effects. Many researchers believe it helped develop cochlear implants. The feline-turned-phone somehow survived the experiment, but Weaver and Bray did not return it to the wild. Instead, they killed it to see whether the experiment would work on a dead cat. It did not. Number 6. A computer once did in 40 seconds what took a mathematician an entire lifetime. Say it isn't so. While not heinous or shocking, this historical fact is nevertheless depressing. William Shanks, a 19th century mathematician, dedicated his life to determine the digits of pi. He correctly calculated the first 527 digits and discovered another 180 digits, but his computations were erroneous. However, calculating the first 527 digits is still astounding, or it was in 1873. Then, in 1958, a computer calculated the same number of digits in less than a minute, followed by another 10,000. Perhaps it's a good thing that poor Shanks wasn't there to witness it. But, if it's any consolation, humans did invent that computer. Number 7. A king made his subjects worship the corpse of his beloved. This case of star-crossed lovers soon became very strange. Don Pedro, the king's son in 14th century Portugal, fell in love with Inez de Castro. There were just a few problems with this. For one thing, his father, King Alfonso IV, did not agree with their marriage because Inez was illegitimate. Don Pedro, on the other hand, was already married. His father had arranged for him to marry Costanza, a noblewoman, and Inez was Costanza's lady-in-waiting. When Don Pedro refused to stop seeing her, the king ordered her death. When Don Pedro took the throne two years later, he exhumed her body, dressed her in regal robes, and crowned her queen. Then, according to historical legend, he made the other nobles all kiss her hand as a sign of their devotion. Number 8. King Tut's parents were most likely siblings. After you've healed from your disgust at this knowledge, here's what experts know about the boy king and his family. His father was likely Akhenaten, the pharaoh who succeeded Tut in the 14th century BC. His mother's identity was unclear, but recent DNA samples from his and other mummies have revealed that she was most likely one of Akhenaten's sisters. King Tut was feeble and suffered from a bone disorder, possibly due to his inbreeding. However, incestuous relationships were not uncommon in ancient Egypt, which isn't exactly reassuring. Nonetheless, despite Tut's health problems and short life, he died at the age of 19. Nonetheless, he is remembered as one of Egypt's most famous and wealthiest pharaohs. And that's our list of eight. Some quite disgusting historical facts. All of these are true, and I think that after watching this video, you kinda wish they weren't true. I know I do. And that's the video. Which historical fact made you cringe? Which one of the facts do you wish were not true? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated about our latest content. Remember, if you're feeling wise and techy, then EdChat has your back.